What is going on, Bucks fans? Evan Wanish here, back at you with yet another video talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And today we are going to be covering two minor moves that the Buccaneers have made. Like I said, they're minor moves. However, I do think, just like with the previous minor moves that the Buccaneers made a few days ago, I think the positions, uh, what these minor moves come, are interesting. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The Buccaneers are signing wide receiver Cephas Johnson. He was an undrafted free agent and he played for the Vikings, got cut last week by the Vikings. And the interesting thing about Cephas Johnson is actually he played a little bit of quarterback at Southeastern Louisiana. And very interesting. He's got great size. He's 6'5", only 23 years old. Uh, he ran a 4.5740. So pretty good size and speed combination there for Cephas Johnson. And we'll have to see. Obviously, he's coming in late. We'll have to see what he can do. And he is a wide receiver. Uh, so I think it was notable that Rakeem Jarrett, the undrafted free agent out of Maryland, did not play in the Buccaneers preseason opener against the Steelers. Todd Bowles had said he's dealing with an injury. So is this maybe a sign that Jarrett's injury is a bit worse? Possibly. I, I don't know for sure. I don't really want to speculate too much there, but it could be a sign that maybe Jarrett's injury could keep him out a few more days. And hopefully that's not the case for Keem. Jarrett's been, I think, one of the more high profile undrafted free agents that the team has had. And he's had a pretty good camp. So I would like to see him get out there. But Cephas Johnson joined the Buccaneers. And in order to join the Buccaneers, they had to waive Deron Lowe, cornerback Deron Lowe. So we talk about the corner depth that Tampa Bay has and its question marks. Well, they answered one of them. They, they figured that Deron Lowe was not part of the plans. And it's just another guy who just came in and, and wasn't that experienced, but they took a shot on and it just didn't work out. So now they're going to have to see guys like Zion McCollum. Can he bounce back from a really hot and cold uh, preseason opener against the Steelers? Uh, can guys like Derek Pitt Jr. bounce back? He got beat for a long touchdown. Got it. Keenan Isaac, um, Kristen Izian. Can these guys uh, come up big and be cornerback depth for the Buccaneers who right now they're a team that desperately needs it. So if Carlton Davis or Jamel Dean goes down, I think they could be in some serious trouble. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if the Cephas Johnson thing, let me know how maybe it could impact Rakeem Jarrett. I know there's a lot of fans that were excited to see Rakeem Jarrett, and they were, they were a little bit bummed, myself included, was a little bit bummed that uh, we couldn't see him out there on Friday night. But let me know what you think about Cephas Johnson and also the waving of Deron Lowe as the Buccaneers continue to search for more secondary depth behind their starters, trying to really find the bottom of the barrel guys, trying to find that diamond in the rough. So far, the early returns aren't great, but keyword there is early. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and talk soon.